Hey, what's up guys? Before I start the playthrough, I thought I would just take a glance at the instructions here. And anybody that would like to can just pause it and read the instructions. And I'll flip the paper over. Um, all the instructions are just on one sheet of paper that was folded up in the package. And down here we've got the name of the seven different C's and the description. What's funny is that I had two questions when I looked at the instructions and uh, they do not address either of my questions. First, I was wondering what are these little things in the water? Um, I wasn't sure if they were bubbles at first. Um, and the instructions do not say. <laughs> um, but having played it a little bit, I think that they are rocks or debris that seem to hurt Echo if he touches them. Uh, so I guess that's just debris in the ocean or rocks <laughs> floating around in the ocean somehow. The other thing I was not clear on was uh, how the turbo button works. It says, blast a shot of turbo power to get Echo out of a jam fast. Be careful how you use it as it, as it shot of turbo power uses up one unit of life. Uh, so that's a little broken English for that and not really uh, explaining how it works. And uh, you'll see when I'm playing. Let's dive in here. That's the little uh, intro animation. Okay, so I'll just go to the controller buttons for just a second. Um, this presses on the left and right, uh, but you cannot go left and right. You can only uh, move right while Echo's image stays uh, in the same spot. Horizontally, he can move up and down vertically, but the left and right switch is just for his speed. Uh, so pressing left makes him slow down. Um, pressing left makes him slow down, pressing right makes him speed up. This is to actually move up and down. And then this middle button is for the um, sonar, uh, which is sometimes needed to uh, open up spaces in walls or to uh, blast away crystals like I just did. So. All right, got to keep on surfacing for air, which just means pushing up enough times that he uh, leaps over the surface. So the basics of the series, the basics of the main series are here, which is uh, quite impressive given the uh, limited format of an LCD game. Uh, they do have the basics of the main series, which is nature simulation. So we've got Echo leaping out of the water for air. Um, he can, this is new, uh, using sonar to open up passageways. Um, I mean, you do that for the uh, crystals in the main series. I don't think you just sonar walls to make them open up in the main series. Um, not that I remember off the top of my head, so here we go again. But that is a main uh, theme of this LCD game. Echo spends a lot of time, oh, almost ran out of air. Um, yeah, I mean, you can probably see that this is the gameplay now. Um, <clears throat> he does uh, lose some health if he runs into a wall, uh, but thankfully his health is his health is restored every time he uh, eats some fish. So we've got the air meter and the life meter in the top left of the screen. Um, The movement of the stage is represented by the coral uh, and the shapes of the stage structure uh, moving by. So <laughs> it takes a little bit of imagination, but uh, there is the rough resemblance of moving through a stage, at least with 
the different uh, images passing by. The seagulls um, are enemies. <laughs> I don't know what kind of ecosystem has seagulls attacking dolphins, but um, I guess the uh, developers just wanted to add something, add some, <laughs> add something for above the water there. Um, I'm not sure what just happened. I think I must have just rescued um, one of Echo's family members because that is the um, goal of this game is to find his family members. Um, and it's all just nature simulation. There's no science fiction elements from the main series. We just have the... Um, I think I just beat that stage. Yeah, see, the top right has... Uh, dolphin icons for what stage number I'm on. So two dolphin images in the top right means I'm in stage two. Um, and I've skipped around. This is my first time attempting to actually play through the game. Okay, I'm restarting the second stage just to put on a different music track in the background. And uh, it's legit because this has a built-in stage select right here. Uh, C, the button for C, Right there is, um, if you look in the top right of the screen, that is the level select. That is seven dolphins for the seventh last stage. First stage, second stage. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first stage was real easy and um, the difficulty ramps up pretty quickly, so uh, let's see what we've got in the second stage here. So he can swim pretty fast already, um, which was why I was having trouble earlier uh, figuring out what the turbo button really does, because look how fast he swims already. I mean, I know it's a little hard to imagine on an LCD screen uh, that he's actually moving through a stage, but when you look at the images passing by, uh, he does build up a lot of speed, like right there. Unfortunately, in this game, he usually will uh, smash into a wall and lose some health if you're uh, swimming too fast. And that's a new element. Uh, the main series does not ever have him losing health from smashing into a wall. Uh, so that's a new element here. Um, as well as that wall opening sonar trick. Um, let's see what else there is to see here. Now, those little things that I'm swimming by that are not fish, um, these things here, they seem to be hurting Echo. Um, so, when I was first checking the game out and skipping around with that level select, uh, at first I thought maybe they were bubbles, but uh, they can't be. Um, they're hurting him, so apparently they're just little rocks or debris floating through the ocean. Um, I don't know if they're anything specific. I mean, why would there be a bunch of little stones floating around or pebbles floating around? Uh, so maybe they're just not supposed to be something specific, just pieces of debris in the ocean pieces of wood, uh, you know, shells, uh, whatever else is floating around in the ocean. Now, um, yeah, you have to find the right spot on the wall to sonar. Might be the top of the wall, the middle, or the bottom. All right, I seem to have found the end of the stage already. almost out of life, so I need to uh, make sure I eat some fish the next chance I get. And I'm going slow so I don't smash into walls. Oh, and there, uh, he died from <laughs> whatever those things are. Alright, so I'm probably back at the very beginning of the stage. Also, apparently the coral on the bottom of the ocean uh, can hurt you as well. 
not sure what uh, biological sense that makes, but uh, we can assume that they're uh, <laughs> somehow harmful uh, coral. Oh, and I just died from smashing into a wall again. All right, uh, hmm, let's try to swim a little more slowly. Uh, so yeah, the difficulty does ramp up pretty quickly. Um, especially the threat of getting smashed by these little rocks um, and smashing into walls. But if I keep eating the fish, um, it'll hopefully balance that out. I don't know if there's a way to really prevent smashing into the walls altogether. Um, maybe you're supposed to press left so it can uh, slow down a little bit before you run into it. One second, let me uh, put the music back on here. All right, get a little air, sonar the wall. Uh, <laughs> All right, you never know if it'll be the top, middle, or the bottom of the wall that'll open up. Ugh. Yeah, just smashing into those little rocks and, oh man. Yeah, it's really easy to die without really even being sure what's going on. Um, <laughs> one minute you're swimming and the next moment you're dead from these little pieces of debris or from smashing into a wall. All right. Yeah, I don't think you can really come to a complete stop except when you're uh, running into something, but maybe you're supposed to just... Oh, I guess you can come to a stop, okay. Yeah, if you press left, you can slow down and come to a stop, so... Ugh. It gets, like, claustrophobic when it's full of these little things. All right, there we go. Got my life back up, so that's good. Yeah, I guess you need to really try to get the fish every chance you, every chance you can in this game, because... Uh, you're taking a lot of damage just swimming around. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what there is to see in this sea. Yeah, there I go. I'm starting to slow down before I approach walls. Oh, man. Game over. <laughs> All right, um, I don't want this to be like too repetitive, but if I'm really playing through the game, then this is it. All right, stage two, again. Man, this gets pretty hard. Um, one thing I'll say about the graphics though, these are, these are awesome graphics for an LCD game. Um, background alone is beautiful. I love the, uh, the ripples animating on the surface of the water. Um, that's incredibly detailed for an LCD game. Um, if you guys have the, uh, if you guys are watching in high quality video, you can probably see that Echo's body uh, looks gray at a glance, uh, but it's not. LCD only has the one color, black. Uh, so his image looks gray because it's full of little black dots. Um, so that's a nice touch. Um, it's a nice touch for a game that's limited to only one color, black. Um, they did a good job uh, representing gray with little dots. All right, opening up walls, swimming along. Now there is the turbo button, um, which I said at the beginning I wasn't sure how it really works because Echo already swims pretty fast uh, without it. Um, so <laughs> the times that I have tried to use it, I just haven't really been able to see the difference very well. Um, I mean, look how fast he already swims. 
What part do I sonar? The top of it. Get some air. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't know if he just accelerates faster or if he actually gets a faster top speed with that turbo. Um, I'm not sure. The instructions don't explain it. Um, so I'll show you that in the next stage. I'll. Oh, man. I was trying to go down and rescue my family member. Man, this is brutal. You get down and touch a piece of coral and you're, you're dead. Um, is it gonna start me on stage two? Yeah, all right. Man, I thought this was gonna be a fast playthrough. <laughs> wow. All right. You know what, before I get too far into it, let me show you what the turbo button does. It plays a little riff of music and then then I uh, try to see if I can notice the difference in the movement. All right, here's the little riff though. You know what, hang on a second. Let me turn down the music in the background so you can hear the turbo riff. See the turbo button here, the far right yellow button? Here's the turbo song, if I can press it. Okay, now, um, is it faster? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make him move when you push it. It just plays the song and then I'm left wondering uh, what the difference is. <laughs> Turning up the music in the background there. Um, okay. Swimming through the ocean. Grab some air. Hmm. So far, so good. I've got full life and full air, so, uh... Let's see what happens. What's really hard about those little pieces of debris is that, um, they're almost impossible to dodge. I mean, thankfully I've got full health right now because I'm eating the fish. Um, but yeah, good luck trying to dodge those little uh, pieces of debris. Especially, <laughs> especially when nothing actually moves uh, in these LCD games. Um, they only, there's no actual movement here. It's not like an actual video game. Um, the movement is represented by uh, different static images being filled in with the liquid crystal black. So, um, yeah, no actual movement. There's just different single images that are uh, being filled in with black. So, it does a good job of uh, resembling movement. Uh, but yeah, try dodging little tiny uh, things that just don't actually move. They just <laughs> change images. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get the hang of those, I'm trying to dodge those things. Um, Alright, I must be getting towards the, the end of the stage now. I'm going to slow down because I'm running into stuff. You know what? Let me go down here. I think, that, yeah, there you go. You just have to like touch your family member and you rescue them. So that's cool. And the reason I did that was because there was no coral down there so I could go down to the bottom safely. Um, yeah, I'm getting low on life. Here we go, getting some fish. All right, so yeah, if you just um, swim pretty slowly and get all the fish you can. Um, okay, um, my iPhone fell at the very end there just now, so uh, I did complete the stage. Okay, I had to uh, start over on the third stage here. Hang on a second, let me pause it and uh, turn on the background music here. I'm actually doing um, the music from the Sega CD version of Echo the Dolphin. Uh, so that's what I'm playing, a new track for each uh, stage here. All right. Let's see what happens in the third stage here. 
lots of little rocks uh, <laughs> splashing around and hitting him on the nose. Crystals the sonar. I'm actually not sure how much more there is to see in this game. I know that there's that uh, giant octopus at some point. Um, I thought there were sharks in the game too. I just haven't seen them yet. All right, so let's see what happens. So far, so good. Keeping the health up by eating fish. So uh, it's working out so far. Ugh, smashing into walls. Now, let me just, I want to try that turbo again. Um, because what does it do? <laughs> Here's the riff. Watch. Okay. Um, he certainly doesn't start off moving faster, so... Yeah, I don't really... I mean, this is fast, but he could already go fast. Oh, I need to get air. All right. Um, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't get it, but in all fairness, it would be hard to... Uh, it's hard to simulate any movement uh, through, an, through an environment uh, with such a limited uh, display here. All right, I'm glad for that CD music in the background because I think this would be uh, possibly getting stressful otherwise. <laughs> Without that relaxing Sega CD music right now. Um, all right, cruising along here. All right, nothing too exciting happening in the third stage. Just a lot of fish and a lot of those. Uh, pieces of debris floating around. Okay, opening up a wall every uh, few moments. All right, now I see my uh, family member at the bottom there, uh, but there is that coral. So let's see, okay, I stopped moving, so there's no coral. I'll just come down here and there we go. I uh, tagged my family member, so now I just have to uh, get to the end of the stage. Gotta keep jumping out of the water for air. Okay, I think I just beat the stage. Um, yeah, alright, four dolphins in the top right. This is stage four of seven. All right, so yeah, stage four, um, more than halfway through the game now. Um, and I was just starting to wonder if I've actually seen everything that's in the game uh, besides that giant octopus because so far it just seems to be increasing the seagulls and the debris and the uh, poisonous coral. <laughs> or electrifying coral. I mean, how are we supposed to imagine coral being harmful to a dolphin? Um, but yeah, so far the stages are only getting... Oh, and I ran out of air with everything else going on. <laughs> Come on. The cool thing is, at least it does start you off at the same stage, so uh, that's, that's appreciated that I don't have to... Uh, level skip ahead every time. Ouch. Slammed into the wall. Yeah, so it's just getting like more crowded and more claustrophobic uh, so far. So I thought there were sharks in this game, but uh, <laughs> maybe not. I haven't seen anything actually besides 
well, what you've seen already too. Seagulls, debris, fish, and coral. Um, I thought the manual even mentioned jellyfish, but I haven't seen them yet either, so let's see what happens. Okay, I see what they're doing with the fish and the debris. They're kind of uh, more mixed together now. So it's harder to uh, get the fish without hitting those debris. Um, there I go a little bit. Like they're mixing together the fish and the debris. Um, yeah, so far so good. As long as I keep surfacing and keep eating the fish. Feeling like that music from Sega CD is really enhancing the experience here. Because <laughs> this could easily start just seeming uh, frustrating otherwise. Oh man, I'm losing my life. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it gets painful. <laughs> All right, full life. Oh, and I see my uh, pod mate down there, so I just need to find a safe spot to descend to the seafloor. Uh, let's see. Okay, I stopped moving. Yeah, tagged him and get some air, and I just have to get to the end of the stage now. So the stage just kind of ends uh, randomly, <laughs> but all right, stage five. 